we try our best. It's not easy. It's not easy. In a country where people don't want you to speak the truth, they'll give you one million reasons why you cannot speak the truth. Well, the person is your friend, the person is your father, the person is your old schoolmate, the person you are from the same town, you are the same mother, you are the same this, you are the same that. And yet, you want Nigeria to become a great country. And I see people that you once respected, you know, getting involved in all this rubbish, blaming other people for the carelessness of others. You know, it's, it's just unfortunate. Just unfortunate. But the truth is, let them say their own, let us say our own. So, let posterity judge all of us. You know, so... You can see people, they are struggling to defend the indefensible, struggling on television, on social media. They will continue to struggle. <laughs> Nobody is talking about whether a man went to school or not. That's not the argument. That's not the argument. The, all the things you, you submitted to INEC under scrutiny, were they genuine? The answer is no. Oh, but the school has said he graduated from, is that it? Anyone with common sense, simple common sense, will just apologize. Oh, we're sorry. We didn't know there was a mix up. Even if people won't accept, it will be on record that you have apologized and you have atoned but to be insulting Nigerians on top of it is the height of shamelessness. You tell Nigerians that he graduated from school. Is that what they are saying? Internationally, people under the position are saying that your president was a student in our school. No problem. But how did he get to your school? A record from a secondary school in Lagos who did not exist. That school did not exist. Government College Lagos did not exist before 1974. And you have a, a document in that file saying he finished school in 1970. I mean, why can't you simply apologize and move on? Like I said, it does not mean people will take the apology. But at least start from somewhere. You are insulting us. We should shut up because we are your friends. And you are allowing these boys who are just coming to collect peanuts, peanuts, to insult everybody on social media. Oh, the school has said he graduated. Is that the argument? That he graduated. It's not about article. It's no longer about Atiku. And I'm happy that Atiku has shifted the body into Nigerians. It's no longer about him. If the Supreme Court finds the courage, fine, they don't, whatever, nobody cares any longer. Atiku has put his resources, has invested his resources in his belief, in his principle. And he has moved on. He has fulfilled all righteousness. What insult? He graduated trying to deflect. Yes, so if Tinubu is my friend, means that I should be culpable. I will defend a man who has the courage to apologize when you are wrong. Admit first that you are wrong. Anybody wants to kill you, let him come and kill you. I don't have anything again. It's easier for me to go, to go with all the people who are swirling around him right now. But that's not me. To start with, I've not been an apostle of Tinubu's style of politics. Anybody who knows me knows. In the last 24 years, Yes, if you ever saw me in the same political party with him, I've never been a member of his party, whether ACNA, APC, AD, no. But there are things me and my body cannot take. 
Some people don't mind anybody. Some people can be voluntary slaves and all that. <laughs> but he knows me that I'm not one of them. So I don't know why people are now angry and bothered. If they, they, they support, do, what support do I have? Do I have more than one vote? He doesn't need me. He has more than enough people to defend anything he does. He has them shouting on your man, they, they shall stand. So when people do that to you and turn you into a demigod and then they, are, they will be able to defend anything, if those are the things you enjoy, then when these things then come with their repercussions, we can see it now. Anybody who wants to even forge for you, won't the person do a little research? You want to write that somebody went to government college Lagos. They were so impatient, they could not even look at the dates of what they were writing. And you are not blaming others for that, for talking. Stop surrounding yourself with psychophants who don't know anything. There are more intelligent people in Nigeria who will advise you. Go and find them. They are there. Nobody can justify forgery. Nobody will. Any lawyer, lawyers know that anyway. So I'm sure people like Fadika, they, they know that they can't justify it. So that's why they are all keeping quiet now. <laughs> all the intelligent people I know in, in that group, they are quiet. Everybody is quiet. Nobody can defend it. On top of it, you had ample time to correct all your imperfections. No human being is perfect. No human being on earth is perfect. But when you know you want to assume public position, and in particular the highest position in any country, the presidency, uh, you find time to clean up your act. So you were busy preparing to hijack and run with the election, but you did not prepare to clean up this mess that has been following you in politics since 1999 or thereabouts. All that they need to do, the, the, the constitution does not say you must be a graduate. Have up to school living certificate. Go to WAEC, apply, and do it. That's why I salute Governor Demona Adedeke all the time. When they said he didn't have this, he didn't have that, he went back to school. Is he not back now? Can anybody blackmail him again? If Tinubu had done the right things and his boys had told him to tell him, oh God, we need to go and play, but they left it that nothing will happen and you are not blaming us for all for it. Get out. When we talk the truth and you won't accept it, you go and be, all you do is go and gossip to him. Dele is your enemy. Dele hates you. How can I hate you? How can I hate my own friend and my own brother? Hate you for what? We are not in the same party, yes. I have no apologies about that. But I cannot hate him to the extent that I would say he should suffer this kind of indignity and infamy internationally. I'm saying it live now. So those who know how to misquote people should go and misquote me again. I'm saying it that the fault is yours. If you surround yourself with people who cannot tell you the truth, they want to forge. They can't even forge you. Social security number. Fake. Social security number. Dates of birth. Three. Three different dates of birth. And you are blaming us for that. Very incompetent people. You can collect his money, but you can't do the work. <laughs> Don't blame anybody, but blame yourselves for bringing this calamity upon yourselves. Kilo day. Kilo day. Don't you have shame? We are blaming us for an offense we did not commit. A man pays them well, gives them everything, gives them properties, gives them land, gives them everything. Yet, they are incompetent. They cannot deliver. 
16 years, Tinubu left as governor of Lagos 16 years ago. Since 16 years to now, these guys could not clean all those records, clean it well. And now you are blaming us that uh, we shouldn't post. I should, am I not a journalist so I should retire from my profession because my friend made mistakes, costly mistakes? <clears throat> Insult upon injury. Ah, they are blaming us. You say, who is blaming you? Don't you see them insulting us every day that we're talking about Tinobu? Am I the one that asked them not to know how to forge properly? If you want to forge, forge. Cleanly, you can forge and do it cleanly. It's easy. All Tinubu needs to show is kusa, nothing more. And then swear to Abidavid. Ah, Baba Basan just says it all the time. He doesn't know his date of birth. He chose one. And that's what we've all accepted. That's how we celebrate him. That is how we that is how we celebrate Baba Basan Not everybody knows their date of birth. If you don't know your date of birth, so be it. No, nobody is going to kill you. But stick to one. Let everybody in the world know. So if we are in exile together, means I should come and defend forgery. Please, uh, Oga, if that is your life, that is not mine. Listen very well. That is not mine. What nonsense. They all collect money from him, tell him lies, tell him lies about others. Did you see me among them in the last 24 years? Have you seen me in their government before? They are disgracing your country, you are saying, because we were in exile together. <coughs> Was he and Atiku not in the same party before? Were they not in the same party before? <laughs> this is not about Atiku any longer. It is not about, it is not about Atiku. Atiku himself, he has transferred the body to you. He said, I don't have to be president. That is a man. Do you think it's everybody that wants anything? The, the, so desperate. the man is telling you that this thing is wrong. We must change Nigeria. Ghani Fahemi started it long ago. Where were you when Ghani was shouting that time? In the last 16 years, and you have refused. Oh, I'm getting old. Yes, I'm almost 64. I'm an old man. I'm an old man. I'm not a small boy. So, what nonsense are you talking? And because somebody is uh, uh, Yoruba, because somebody is... Uh, and that means that every time, every time they talk about him, it must be bad news. Is it fair on Yoruba people? Is it fair on Nigeria? Is it fair on Africa? And if you guys don't have any shame, so be it. What noise do I have to go and make? How many times have you seen me go to Asuro to go and beg anything? What noise do I What's my business with Asuro? I don't have any business with Asuro. Obasanjo was there for eight years. Did you see me go there to go and beg him for anything? Yaradua was there. God bless his soul. Jonathan was there. Did you see me? I don't know why you people are so... Ah, it never used to be like this, though. No, I can't block him. I won't block him. I want him to be watching me and be getting angry. Block him for what? I'm speaking the truth. It's hurting him. So let him get work job. Hey, this, 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 guys. These guys, instead of telling your leader the truth, you're all hiding. Me, pain, about what? Pain, pain. Do I look like someone who looks pain? Do I look like someone who looks pain that Tinubu was declared president of Nigeria? How can that pain me? The Buhari that I supported before he ever appointed his cabinet, I had already left and I apologized publicly. Eight years of Buhari I survived in Nigeria. Did you see me beg anybody for anything? So if you don't know a man, go and check his antecedents. I've been in opposition. I've always been in opposition. Go and check. The Buhari that would have made me to be to in, a, in a ruling government, I was never a member of their party. I supported him voluntarily with my sweat, with my little modest, humble resources. If you like, shout more than that. Shout more than that. Write whatever you want to write. 
I look, I am so proud that I didn't even know that I could stand up for truth in Nigeria more than this. I kept quiet, I kept watching, hoping that this thing would not be true. How can we be so careless? 16 years, you have 16 years to clear up everything, to clean up. And those who walk around you, who shout, there is no human being like you. After God, it is you. They could not help him. I need appointment. <laughs> Jokers. <laughs> appointment. And I wouldn't have chased it in the last 24 years. Appointment for what? For stealing. I've donated it to you. Now go and have it. Since I can't have it. These are shameless people. Appointment. I said, go and have it. You go. Go and take the appointment. I've donated it to you. Yes, God will be proud of us. Thank you. Appointment. You think everybody is a thief or lazy bomb or greedy? <sighs> for anybody to think I will now come and join this rat race and be waiting and queuing up for a pittance. Not me. Not me. Nigerians are too hard working and energetic for people to come and drag them into this. Now, I'm reading somewhere that our nurses might be asked to come and uh, reapply abroad because I've been, ah, no, <laughs> me, I'm, I'm a man, no, I'm not a voluntary slave. I can't be. Even if it's my mother or my, I'll tell you, I'm sorry. Go and read my antecedents. <laughs> I, I will say my own. I will not be rude to you. I'm not rude like some of the people around Tinubu who are rude to everybody, who abuse everybody. One of them is the article to go and apologize to, uh, to Tinubu. Was it the one that filled the form for Tinubu? Was Atiku the one that filled the form for Tinubu? Instead of admitting that you are incompetent. Do I think the Supreme Court, I said we've moved beyond all that. Whether Supreme Court, whatever decision they take, is binding on all, all of us. You can see Atiku is a law-abiding citizen of Nigeria. He is not one of those who will, you know, will fully break the law. So he has done what he needs to do, and the rest is left. Hmm. My dear, I don't want to be calling names. Chicago State University is open to everybody and we have seen what came out of it the shame of it is that Atiku did not go there to contest whether Tinubu went to that school or not we still don't have evidence even now we don't have the evidence unless we read different depositions so but even legally if you enter an institution illegally what legal, whatever legal document you came back with becomes illegal once you are found out. They are very shameless. I agree with you. Some people are very, very shameless. Anybody who is not shameless, they ignore the deluge of forgeries involved. Ask them, dare them to answer questions about government college Lagos. Ask them if they can answer you. Ask them if they can answer you why we have three different dates of birth. Ask them. Okay? Ask them if the university issued that certificate submitted to INEC. Ask them. They will say, oh, he graduated. Who is arguing about whether you graduated or not? Who is arguing it? Ah, Atiku is a man, no? <laughs> he's a statesman, an elder statesman who invested his money and everything. He has suffered for Nigeria, he doesn't mind. He doesn't mind. So, he, what is a pre-election matter? There is no pre-election matter. That is why they go to the Supreme Court. Only the Supreme Court can determine what is a pre-election matter. We're not all illiterate. How can I be an enemy within when I've never been in, inside? I've never been inside Tinubu's political family. 
If you are so ignorant not to know that, I'm telling you on open air that I've never, have you ever seen me in Tinubu's political family before? Ever. What brought us together was MKO, Abiola, and June 12th. That's all. We returned from exile 25 years ago. Have you ever seen me in that political family? I told you I don't share in his political beliefs, so I cannot be a member. So that is, there's nothing wrong with that. It's my choice. You can't force me. Anyway, so I need to take a break and I have a lot of work to do.